Hello everyone and welcome to How to Master Mexico on F122. I'm Brendan Lee, two-time Formula 1 eSports World Champion and today I'm going to teach you how to drive Mexico. With all that being said, let's get straight into it and I'll be showing you a good baseline setup that you can use in online league racing, uh, career mode, anything that you want to be using it for. So 22-17 wing, 55-50, right, right, left, left. One, two, three, one, six, seven, hundred percent, fifty, and minimum front tire pressure twenty one point zero on the rear tire pressure. For all that being said, let's be hitting the track as that's where you can be finding the most time. Obvious statement, I know. But opening up the final corner, you'll be using up all the road. If you're starting qualifying lap, this is, and you'll be using uh, all the road to open up the lap so you can see running all the way to the outside and this will help you gain a few more kilometers per hour more miles per hour opening up the drs onto the pit straight was also critical if you want to be maximizing your potential coming down to turn one you'll be breaking just after the 100 meter board you can see all the way on this uh, painted uh curbing on the left hand side to open up the track as much as possible down to fifth gear so like i say 100 meter board down to fifth gear use up all the curb on the left hand side kiss the red and white curb but never the orange curb on turn one and you exit the corner in the middle of the track to open up the second and third corner and the second and third corner for the second one you'll be jumping over this curb on the inside you want to make sure that your right tires are not cutting the white line but your left tires and the car in total are always committed to this curb you can bounce over this orange part of the curb and it's going to find you a lot of lap time so that's really critical to do so now, again, using the red and white, but not the orange curb on this corner here, because you'll be opening up the traction as much as possible, using up all the painted curbing on the left-hand side. Opening up DRS, 7th, 8th gear. Now, you'll be looking for the 100-meter board, and when you find the 100-meter board going down all the way to 4th gear, keeping the car straight in a braking zone, and there isn't really a turning marker, but what's critical here is to not really take the curbing on the inside here, because it can unsettle the car. Exit the corner in the middle of the road. Now, into the right hand, or again, don't really take the curb, but using up all the painted curbing on the left-hand side as a traction is actually pretty good here, and it can help you open up the track as much as possible. Isn't really a breaking point for this corner, but you want to be staying in fourth gear. Avoid the first apex, but looking for a late apex on the second apex to get the best exit possible. Again, using up all the track on the exit as much as possible. It's absolutely critical for lap time here to do that. Up into sip gear, when the black box on the right hand side goes out of view, then you'll be going into the braking zone and flying so much momentum in. Actually taking a bit of the grass on the inside here because it can help you rotate the car and open up the angle of the corner as much as possible. Using the curb on the right hand side, keep it in sip gear. Now again, using the curb on the left hand side, it should be flat out by this point. If you get it absolutely nailed and you're going for the world record lap, it should be flat out. It can be really difficult though, so... I would maybe advise a lift if you're not quite at the limit of the pace just yet. So keep it in sip gear. Bring the car to the left-hand side. Again, should be flat out here. You'll be in seventh gear. Avoid the grass on your side, but taking both elements of the curving here to open up the track. Open up DRS. Seventh, eighth gear. When the black box starts on the left-hand side, you'll be breaking down to fifth gear, using up all the road here, and you'll be in fifth gear. As the track goes in, the track's going to fall away from you a little bit. It goes a bit downhill, so it's quite easy to lose a bit of grip and slide around on the exit here so it's quite critical that you manage this factor use up all the road possible as soon as you get the car stable on the exit bring the car over to the right hand side and braking when the curb starts underneath the car you'll be running the car fully over the curb here when the curb starts hit the brake when the curb ends turn in and you'll be keeping it in fourth gear and now you can see looking for a late apex, keeping the car as straight as possible because now the car is going to be sliding around a bit too much because the tyres are going to be overheated. So it's really critical to keep the car nice and stable and uh, make sure you can predict what the car is going to do. And this will be the key to getting a good final sector lap time. Committing over this curb on the inside because the distance that you can save is much greater than the time you can gain by having better traction. So it's critical to jump over that curb on the inside in my opinion anyway. Now coming up to the final corner, break when that black box starts on the left-hand side. And now you'll be opening up the final corner. Avoid the curb on the inside and avoid the curb on the outside as well for the best traction possible. But right now, we'll be jumping into a live hot lap of the track so I can show you what I'm doing live and hopefully give you a better demonstration of what you should be doing and what to look out for. Flying down to turn one, 
braking just after a 100 meter board down to 50. You see all the curb, 100 meter board down to 50. Do not take the orange, exit in the middle. Take the orange, you see exit, focus on a good exit here. Smooth on the power, fifth gear, using up all the road, opening up DRS, up to seventh, up to eighth. Now keep the car straight in the braking zone. Hit the brake at the 100 meter board, avoid the curb, exit in the middle. Avoid the curb, exit all the way on the left hand side for maximum track width. Avoid the curb, trail brake in, hit the second curb, smooth on the power, a little bit of the wheel spin there, bit anxious on the power, brake at the black box, keep it in zip gear, kiss the curb on the inside, kiss the grass, flat out. I'm going to lift for this example because I'm not quite on the limit. You see lifting again, the car's squirming around. So it's super critical to get the smoothness nailed there. And that's how you're going to gain lap time. Black box on the left hand side, down to fifth gear, manage traction on the exit. When the curb starts, brake. When the curb ends, turn in. You can see looking for that later apex. Smooth on the power. Final corner, black box. Keep it in fourth gear. Avoid the curb on the inside. Avoid the curb on the outside. And you can see trying to get the power down for the run up to the line. Choose at least distance on the run up to the line. And we're going to do one more lap. Give you the best demonstration possible. Now flying down to turn one. Like I say, breaking at the 100 meter board down to fifth gear. So three committed in. You can see 100 meter board down to fifth gear. And you can see turning it in a little bit wider than last lap. Not ideal. That was pretty ideal, though. That was pretty sweet. Smooth on the power. The car stayed stable. And that's really what you're looking for to gain lap time. Now, keeping the car straight for the braking zone. You can see 100 meter board down to fourth gear. Avoid the curb on the inside. Exit in the middle. Now, avoid the curb on the inside again. Exit on the left. Now, trail braking in. Miss the first apex, but focus on that second apex. Smooth on the power. Lovely juggling. Much better than last lap. Up to sit good. Blink at the black box. Now, taking the grass and curb on the inside. Much better than last lap. So, it opens up this soup in the corners. Keep it in sit gear. Short shift to seventh. You can see. Smooth. That was much better than last lap. Opening up DRS. Seventh. Eighth gear. Break at the black box on the left hand side. Down to fifth gear. See the track falls away, so it's going to understeer a little bit. Once the traction is managed, brake when the curb starts, turn in when the curb ends. Hard on the power, jump over the curb on the inside, keep it in fourth gear, black box for the braking zone, hit the brake, turn in, smooth on the power, and now choose the path of least distance up to the line, and that is your lap at Mexico City. And I love this track, I love this track, it's such a fun track to drive, especially in the race to manage the tyres, but... I've been Brendan Lee. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out massively with trying to grow this channel. So everyone, thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of your day or night, wherever you are in the world. Have a good weekend. Have a good week, whatever day it might be. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Glad to be Ciao, ciao.